Good evening, good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocca in the Pinpoint Forecast Center with your weather web update. Finishing up a gorgeous spring day. Temperatures in the 70s, at least away from the coastline. Radar quiet for now, but uh, quite a bit of rain on the way next roughly 24 to 36 hours, but we'll stay dry this evening. Pictures from Providence. Clouds starting to stream in after that warm sunshine. You can see down at the campus at URI time lapse showing on the clouds rolling in as well. Nice to see uh, green grass there. Of course, the trees starting to get the blooms on them already as the weather warms up. Notice a little bit of what a uh, haze and some light fog have very high humidity passing over water that's still pretty cold. This is Newport Harbor and as a result, you get some haze and every now and then some patchy fog and that'll tend to fill in uh, during the overnight hours. Of course, the, the strong wind today. One reason why anytime you get a big temperature contrast, you know, warm bumping up against cold. Let me step out of the way for just a second. Look at the temperatures here now. 70s across the uh, east coast of the United States and northeastern U.S. And you see in the upper left hand side of your TV set that blue color indicating a winter chill. So when you have this big temperature contrast, you get a lot of wind and you get stormy weather and rain and eventually we'll see some wet weather. You can see the leading edge of some steady rain now back through uh, upstate New York. This will take a while to get here, so I don't expect much in the way of rain. Uh, tonight, other than maybe some sprinkles and drizzle after midnight as we track a very strong cold front out ahead of it. It's gusty and some of this rain steady at times moving in for tomorrow, especially by uh, tomorrow, later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Once this whole system, this cold front sweeps offshore, the colder air, noticeably cooler weather settles in for Wednesday. But temperatures even tomorrow should be mild. Put this into motion starting off at 6 o'clock this evening. Very mild night, upper 50s to around 60 all night long by 7 a.m in the upper 50s. If anything, if we get enough partial sun through the cloud cover, at least away from the coastline, mid 60s inland, this is 11 o'clock in the morning, upper 50s to near 60 along the south shore. Even tomorrow evening at around 6 o'clock, temperatures in the 60s, and then the steadier rain working in for tomorrow night and then much colder weather on tap for midweek. 72 degrees today, 65 tomorrow. Look at that temperature crash all the way down to the upper 40s to around 50 by Wednesday, so a definite chill in the air. Rain on Tuesday, again, the heaviest appears to be Tuesday night. It's kind of light and spotty during the day, but Tuesday night, heavy rain at 65, drying out on Wednesday, chilly at 49, bright but very cool on Thursday, 50, a little milder on Friday, 55. Chance for some showers on Saturday, 53, then partly sunny skies on Sunday, moderating temperatures in the upper 50s.